The first time that I sat on an e-bike and rode it, a big smile came across my face, and that's given me back something that I thought I'd lost. My name is Daniel Smith. I am 43 years old, and I was diagnosed with heart failure at the age of 36. Living with heart failure is frustrating. It's very debilitating. It's with you all the time. It never leaves you. You never get a break from heart failure. If you wake up first thing in the morning, I've still got it, it's on your mind. And it's with you when you go to sleep at night. And then you worry if you're gonna wake up in the morning. My uh, decline into heart failure was quite slow. I was keeping myself quite fit at the time. I did boxing, I did running, played football. I was a lot slimmer than you see me now. I just started getting out of breath, but in situations which didn't seem normal, and things just got worse for me. I couldn't get out of bed, I couldn't eat. If I did, I would vomit. And then eventually, I just collapsed on the bathroom floor at home. Couldn't get up. They took me into casualty. I had a CT scan, and they found out that my heart was enlarged. Around about a year ago was when I started to hear murmurings of iron deficiency and heart failure. And I can't remember in the six years I've had heart failure of anybody mentioning this to me. It was the end of this summer when I was tested and they, they told me that my ferritin levels were low. And that's the first time anybody's mentioned it. And I have two young boys, they're 13 and eight now. And there was lots and lots of things that I wanted to be able to do with them, all outdoor activities. And I was really looking forward to doing those things with them. And I can't do them, just simple things. Playing football in the park, camping trips. That's been the hardest thing. One of the things that I always dreamt of being able to do was just simply go on a bike ride with my children. And it wasn't possible. I tried riding a normal bike and I couldn't do that. So when we started to talk about an e-bike trial, I still had reservations that I wouldn't be able to ride an e-bike. But it's actually easier than walking. And that's given me back something that I thought I'd lost with the boys, which is I've been on bike rides with them now and we've gone out on picnics and they've really enjoyed that. And that's uh, had a massive boost on my mental health as well. The advice that I'd give a newly diagnosed heart failure patient is not to dwell on the word failure because heart failure is treatable and they can go on to live quite a normal life and um, just to give themselves time to get used to having heart failure, give the medication time to work and to seek the advice of peer-to-peer -peer support.